Oi. All right, first off, let me apologize because I'm holding the camera. I'm not using the microphone that I normally use when I shoot a video, so I don't know how I got the sound this. It's about 28 in the morning. I've been up since seven. I actually didn't go to bed till about uh, one o'clock because I was watching the Olympic Games opening ceremony. I wasn't going to watch it. Then Twitter decided to explode all about it. And, uh, and it sounded quite cool. In fact, it sounded like the world's best acid trip. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go check this out. Which is a great idea, but why am I up this early? Why am I talking to you like this? I am going to be heading up to Birmingham in a little bit. Um, some of you may know that I appear on the Digital Gonzo podcast. Well, we're having a meetup in Birmingham, so I'm quite looking forward to going and meeting everyone. I'm going to shoot some video, I'm going to do a quiz, we're also going to record a live game burst down there. Well, we will all be in the same room, which is going to be interesting. At least I can reach over and strangle Midge if he annoys me, or slap Zan when he's being a moany bugger. So, yeah, probably going to be doing both of those. Uh, I'm going to shoot a little vlog here, and I'm hopefully going to splice in a lot of the footage from g It's going to shoot, uh, hopefully shoot a lot of video. Uh, and meet up with some really cool people. Uh, if you don't know what Digital Gonzo is, go to Gonzo Planet. Uh, my good friend Alex, he takes a really good look at lots of movies. We're right now doing the Dark Knight stuff. Um, well, a lot of Batman stuff. He's just on Aliens, there's Star Wars, Harry Potter. And future ones to come include Lord of the Rings. So, you know, come on, check it out, it's good. We also just recently did our first uh, audio drama, which was called Batman Breakdown, which I got to have a role in. I get to play Dick Grayson in that one. So, uh, yeah, I apologise for that voice in advance when you get there. But other than that, yes, yeah, so uh, I'll be heading down to Long Eaton train station probably about 8 o'clock to get, well, yeah, about, well, I'll be leaving here at 8 o'clock to get my train for, uh, what is it? It's much to nine to get to Birmingham. Not a long train ride, but hey, I like trains, it's fun. And hey, I don't have to drive. What else? Um, not much. So I'm gonna cut this video off, because you don't need this. You want, to, you want to see the fun that we get up to. I'm really looking forward to meeting up with a lot of people down there, guys, like Combine Hunter and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna see Midge in the flesh. So uh, yeah, I wonder if he's gonna come out of this one alive. Don't worry, it's not like I hate Mitch, I just like to wind him up because it's a lot of fun. Anyway, enough gas bagging from me. Cue the traveling montage, I guess. So yeah, we finally made it here. And we can't get in the room. <laughs> He's taking it well. So you actually managed to get in last night? Yeah, but we can't get in this morning for whatever reason. It's like Reddit who doesn't register it all. This is why most geeks learn, you know, picking locks. So as you might have noticed, we actually got in the room. <laughs> One hell of an adventure so far. I'm going to head out here, just so I'm not distracting and people think I'm crazy talking to a camera. So yeah, we finally made it to Gplex. We finally made it in the room, believe it or not. We've got quite a lot of people here, quite a great selection. They're just setting up the room now. Yeah, also kind of like that's the feature of this thing that's got that little flash thing. Let's take a wonder, shall we? Considerably less a spot in Spatch. You've got your camera out, of course you have. What do you expect? Are you, are you documenting the day? Pretty much, yeah. And here we see the native gamer in their non-native habitat. Uh, yes. Well, I don't That's know. That's how they congregate around consoles and other interactive entertainment devices. Your Attenborough is scarily spot on. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, right. Uh, it's not going to be a huge speech. Just want to say thank you very much, all of you guys, for coming to G Flex number one, 2012. Um, I want to start off with a huge thank you. Give it up for Giles Thomas. Pretty much everything in here that you see today was possible because of Giles. All I really did was turn up and go on. So, thank you very much, Giles. Cool. Right, so uh, a couple of things. If you want one of these wonderful games on the Pile of Shame table, or more, talk to Sharon. She's basically the bookkeeper. The way we're working today is don't worry about handing us over cash today. You're not giving us anything. What you're effectively doing is pledging <coughs> money to Games Aid. Which, is everyone all aware of what Games Aid is? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, give us an ask if you, if you need to, we'll find some stuff about it. Um, so, like, if you go to Sharon and say, I would like three tickets, please, she will just note down that you owe five pounds to pledge to Games Aid. Then she gives you three tickets, and then at some point we're going to start pulling out tickets, and you can, when we've sold enough tickets, basically, we'll start pulling them out, and then you can just, if your ticket comes up, you can come, select whatever game you want from there, and then swap it, if you want. <laughs> uh, and similarly, with the auctions, um, throughout the day, if you go check out the stuff on my left, which is on your right, that's the side of the auction, and it's got prices, isn't that one, Joel? Oh no, these don't have prices. So you can, uh, again, go to Sharon, she's got a book on this stuff, so if you say, I will give, say, £10 on DJ Hero 2, you, she'll note down your name and how much you're bidding, and anyone else throughout the day, whoever bids the highest on each item gets it at the end of the day. And again, all you're doing there is pledging how much you're going to then contribute at the end. Yeah. Now the auction, I would be standing up here like so, pimping the shit out of everything on that table. You can check that out as, as you go about your day, and those all do have set starting prices, don't they? So, again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, if it weren't for you guys, Gonzo Planet would be an empty wilderness, with just me on my own ranting, because I wouldn't even have guests. And um, yeah, it's, it's nothing without you, so thank you all very much for being here. You may have heard of this little nigga game named Bayonetta. <laughs> Can we say here we didn't let the camera know what you do this? What we have here is a Bayonetta. Now this is called Scarborough Fair. And it's a pistol that Bayonetta uses to shoot many people and skeletons and angels and monsters and things. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually trembling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With this incredibly attractive stand. Is this, is this gold, Josh? It's not actual gold. But, uh, <laughs> uh, is this an emerald? <laughs> a glass one, yeah. <laughs> and it's got a, a, an ornament hanging off it, much like <coughs> Bayonetta would enjoy herself. And it says Scarborough Fair by Rodan. This was a pre order bonus thing, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so the starting bid, Mitch, is. <laughs> uh, 30 pounds. I checked eBay, and these have gone from between 30 and 80 pounds. I'll just go straight to 50. 50? <laughs> Any votes on 50? 50. 51. Oh! <laughs> 55. 55. 60. 60. 65. 65. <laughs> oh, poor Mitch. Look at him. Just say 66. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down, man. Put it down. Oh, 70. 70. Shit, Jesus. It's, always it's for such a... He's got his hard face up now. <laughs> 70 pounds to make you buy a And I'm Joshua Garrity from Cane and Rims, and me and Jerome are about to play Spelunky. Come on, I've never, never played it before. This guy's to be hit on it. Adventure. Always get you press A and pick a character. I'm always that guy. Be the blue guy. 
Because he stands out from the background. Or a woman. Okay, there you go. Or insert your own ethnic joke here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take your time, because this thing will fuck you up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, no, it's just going to play. So it's vaguely kind of like a 2D platformer, except Jones already almost made, almost killed me. You have four lives. Um, uh, if you die, you have to start all the way from the beginning of the game again. Like, there's no checkpoints whatsoever. There's no levels. If you die, you have to start all the way from the beginning again. Sounds like fun. Yeah. So just please don't die. <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. You threw a bomb! <laughs> you threw a bomb! I don't know the button. <laughs> this isn't going to last long. Okay, what are the buttons quickly? We're going to die soon. <laughs> okay. Okay, Right. The B is bomb. You play that to get through scenery. I only have one lo- oh, am I- I'm dead! <laughs> Already! I'm sorry, Josh. Who was it you said was gonna die first? Well, technically I killed you. Now I can blow wind in your face. I'm gonna blow wind in your face. You're a little too happy about that, Josh. <laughs> You're almost dead, River. I accept my fate. There's a bat! There's a bat. Oh, he's gone for it! <laughs> this is a bit like the karate kid with a sensei trying to tell the student what's happening and just goes, No, you're doing it wrong. You're just doing it all. Get you all. What we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six very brave gentlemen <laughs> who are going to try um, this horrible. Is it Swedish? Probably. Probably. God. Um, it's called Hockey Pulpa, and it's something that Tony and I want to try for Digital Cowboys. It's been on Giant Bomb repeatedly. Oops, break I've this up a little bit. Try this in that horrible thing. <laughs> do, you have, <laughs> do you have to snort it, Alex? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> do we need a credit card and some £5 notes? <laughs> 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 you snort it, you might die. Okay, get a handful, there we go. <laughs> it actually looks like something you'd see in a building. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you pop this? Does anyone know Mutley that well? Does anyone know what this is supposed to look like? <laughs> you wonder why he quickly ran away. Ran <laughs> a little bit more for Giles, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I mean, are you guys going to take them all at once or in the uh, well, let's do it one at a time. Let's get the individual. It'll be like a Mexican wave. It's bombing now. The Swedish snack. Kids sweep on the car. It can't be. Atrocious. A little bit more for Joe. A little bit more for Chris. A little bit more for me. Yeah! Right. And we have more of this. Oh, it's the oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to open another one. Yeah, yeah. Come on. He gets the whole one. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else want to be a man? Hey, no. I am a man! If three out of five of the Game uh, vs. hosts are doing this, surely the other two can as well? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, James is busy filming. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm proving my manliness with my film skills. And Zan's hiring. Oh, okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's not busy. Oh, <laughs> Kai's coming up on this one. Hey. I can't get everyone in shot. Anybody else? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Spatch! Spatch! No, 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 no,
Okay. okay. <laughs> now there's less water than there are people. We'll start with Neil and work our way down. Anybody else? <laughs> okay, and remember, folks, you can bid on the last one of these on the auction if you so wish. <laughs> okay, um, Neil, I think you're the man of the match at this point, so just whack it back and hope. Think of England. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. I'm just like, he is a man. <laughs> okay, Jerome, that's not so scary anymore. Go for it. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, the aftertaste is better than the actual taste, then. Yeah. <laughs> I was just making like cinnamon chocolate. It sweetens style. after the aftertaste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to talk? have given me some confidence. <laughs> Josh, well, come on. going to puke. You lied me! You lied! Okay. <laughs> Darth Cuddles. <laughs> Darth Cuddles likes it. That's good. Mitch. Licking off every scrap. It's the licking. Another trick up the back. What you plan on doing this video? YouTube. All right. I think Mitch likes it. So, uh, Chris, you want? Go on, leg. Go on, leg. Go on, leg. <laughs> 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 We're making it look easy. I guess it's just something without. Something yeah. Something without. By some people, we mean okay. Josh. <laughs> it's a bit oh, it's not that bad. Cinnamon <laughs> challenge levels. Of... That's actually quite nice. <laughs> Bear in mind, folks, that when Tony and I took it, we did half each of this whole thing. So that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah. a lot. I'll enjoy it. I did. Like. Okay. Go on, it's just <laughs> strawberry sherbet. Kai, that's Kai. It's just strawberry sherbet. With ammonium chloride. <laughs> what would you do this? <laughs> Victim number two. Give us. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. Sorry. You're right. Fresh from the water. Gary? <laughs> Now we've already seen, statistically, it's not too bad. <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> okay. And finally, Dave? I'm not sure I want to do this. Yeah, <laughs> Dave! Mmm! That's it, number three. Uh, do you want to get some water? It's some hotness. Salt. Yeah. It's not a bad tag. It's, it's the sugar. burning. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's, I'm not taking it. Uh, anyone else want to try? It's just sticky now. It's horrible. I don't see how it's It just it doubles its value. It's just sticky in my hand now. So that was some of the stuff that happened down at Gplex 2012, the first Gplex. So um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing some of that. Uh, we hopefully will be having another one next year. So if you liked what you saw, come on down next year. Just go to Gonzo Planet, join the forums, and you'll get updated there. It was an absolutely fantastic time. We got to meet a load of people. Uh, not only just the Game Burst crew. You know, we had ma the majority of the team. One missing. And he had to, unfortunately, go to a wedding. So he couldn't make it. But, yeah, uh, it was great to meet everybody. Uh, had a fantastic time. And we raised over £2,000 for Games Aid. So that was pretty well worth it, I think. And I also I have to admit, I with the Pile of Shame giveaway that happened, the Pile of Shame raffle... I did walk away with a few games as well. A big thank you to Midge who picked up two of the games that I wanted and get them to me, so that was a lot of fun. Honestly, I wish I could have taken more video, but like I said, the camera went a bit funny, so I don't know whether or not 
whether or not to use it. But there was some great fun had by all, a couple of podcasts recorded down there. The AR box Game Burst was recorded there. Next year, we will do Game Burst live in front of the audience, so that should be fun. Um, what else to sell you? Uh, Discover Cards Against Humanity. That's a lot of fun for a party game. I'll say party game because if I call it anything else, Zan will appear and bash me over the head. Obviously, Midge survived. I didn't kill Midge. <laughs> Zan wasn't too grumpy. A good time was had by all. Plenty of money raised for charity. What more can I say? Had a great time. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Just have a good time And we gon' make you lose your mind Everybody just have a good time Party Rock is in the house tonight Everybody just have a good time We gon' make you lose your mind We just wanna see ya Shake that Got my eye on you. Water drop.